Just outside of Boston, Massachusetts in the city of Waltham, Bentley University has unveiled a brand new 2000 seat state of the art hockey arena. On this episode, we take a look at the Bentley University Falcons men's hockey team. I'm Joel Idelson and this is New England Hockey Journal. Davian, up to Jago, pass to Santerno. 118 left of the power play. Yeah! Score! Playing in the Atlantic Hockey Conference, the Bentley University Falcons have had a Division I men's ice hockey program since 1998. But after 20 years of playing home games in nearby Watertown, they finally have an on-campus arena. Now they feel like a D1 program. Right now, we have to just boom. Garrett scores! Top shelf! Well, how to be physical, boys. How to be physical. Let's build off that. We went from a, a school with hockey to a hockey school pretty quickly there. There's a sour taste in your mouth. Perfect. Atta boy, Sam! Gotta be out, gotta be out, gotta be out. At the end of the day, it's, it's what you do with it. We're just really energetic. You see one guy go and then the other guy's going too. You know, if someone goes down, blocks a shot, you know, get on his back and, you know, let's go to the next shift and try to bury one. First chance saved by Polino, second chance on the crease. Atlantic hockey, yeah, it's no joke. Uh, you can't take a night off. Each game is almost playoff style with our conference. It's a little bit of a grittier conference. There's a lot of hardworking people here that care about the results and are willing to put in the work. Don't crowd, move Sam, open up space. Oh, man up, yeah. The student section has been nuts. We've had a handful of games here and it's been full each time. Gotta have a head on the swivel, boys. We're over. 50 years we're playing off campus and to bring our program to such a beautiful campus and, and let our students and community see us play is extremely exciting. When we come back on New England Hockey Journal, we will find out what makes this new arena so unique and learn more about longtime Bentley hockey coach Ryan Soderquist, who also is their all-time leading scorer. Not so easy, is it? Not so easy. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. After years of trekking five miles to share a hockey rink with high schools and town leagues, Bentley hockey finally has an arena to call its own. 10 or 11 years ago, we were pretty close to building a facility. Some things changed with the economy and, and it kind of went on hold there for, for five or six years. So that was a tough time period to know we were that close and then it went back again on hold. But we always just worked hard every single day with what we had and we just wanted the program to get better every single day. And if we just kind of stayed to that process of getting better every day, uh, we knew over the long haul we'd get to where we needed to be. I would say probably one of the best things we ever have done here. It's a building that was designed for the use of our Bentley community. We've had the President's Convocation, Freshman Orientation, Freshman Week, had a concert in here, Black United Body Fashion Show. We've had about 20 events, and every one of them have been like a Grand Slam. And Athletic Director Bob DeFelice knows a little about Grand Slams. He's been the Bentley baseball coach for 50 years. The field is named in his honor, and his statue now stands outside the new arena. Greatest line of all was at a function with Steve Manfredi at the chairman of the board. The building has already been built and he looked at me and he said, well, as always, we do everything right here. And he laughed and he said, if we did it 12 years ago, it wouldn't be half as good you know, as it is now. First thing you can come here, get ahead of the play. They did a great job with the design of the building, everything from weight room uh, to training room to, to offices to player lounges where guys have the ability to come in early, stay late, uh, build that team culture. Really good for body maintenance, coming down here kind of on your own terms. It's all right there to take care of yourself and then obviously it being on campus is extremely convenient for us but it's also convenient for fans as well. It also fits into the vision of the university. Our university has a commitment to carbon neutrality by 2030. So knowing that we were build a building with a rink inside of it and knowing that that rink could potentially use a ton of energy at the outset, we decided to look at the sustainability options for the design here. We've installed LED lighting throughout. It's smart lighting and has daylight harvesting sensors. We actually have a ton of windows and thus the daylight harvesting sensors on our LED lights dim when there's a ton of natural light coming through the windows. That's a huge energy saver for us. 
We also have a state-of-the-art heat reclamation loop. So we've got this ice plant. There are chillers and motors and fans running to make ice and keep that ice a certain temperature for eight months. Through that process, there is a certain amount of heat that is generated. Normally that heat is just vented to the outside. In this building, we've actually put in heat exchangers to capture that waste heat and use it for heating hot water, and also in space heating in some of the areas of the building as well. We've installed the highest efficiency plumbing fixtures on the market here in our facility. So we have dual flush toilets and waterless urinals, low flow faucets and low flow shower heads. And together, those fixtures allow this building to use 48% less water than it would if we had just built it to plumbing code. We put a 500 kilowatt solar array on the roof of this arena that now provides this building with 40% of its annual electricity needs. And this has all made business sense for us. Those are our pucks, boys, those are our pucks. One of the best things about being a player here and still being a coach here is to, to see the guys come back and the guys that I played with and, and see the new arena and, and see what it's doing for our program. We're winning the first touch and we're coming up that strong side. They're closing everybody. No one has worked harder to advance Bentley's hockey program than coach Ryan Soderquist. A former captain of the Falcons, Soderquist graduated in 2000 as the team's all-time scoring leader. Only two years later, he became the team's head coach. His first move was right at the net from behind the net, pinched off that defender and opened up space for himself. Being a student athlete here, he gets it. He understands the commitment academically. And I don't think I took a chance on a gamble. He is the right person for this position. Don't stand still! Don't stand! Shots-wise, guys, let's just start ripping some sh shots low and hard. All right, we missed the net high and off the glass four or five times with traffic. On the bench, he's very vocal in the room. He's not afraid to tell guys what they're doing right, what they're doing wrong kind of thing. The amount he's done for the program, you can't really put it into words. Got to be calling for a chip there, Forrest. Let's go. We got to talk to him there. I'd like to talk. think that I can be a player's coach where guys can, can come talk to me if they need me. Uh, sometimes I know that that can be a little bit a little stern and that's just because I believe in our guys and I believe that they can be great and you know I never want them to look back uh, 20, 30 years from now and say I didn't reach my potential because I wasn't pushed. Don't get aggravated, the goals are going to come. All right, let's earn it here boys, let's go. Coming up on New England Hockey Journal, facilities aren't the only thing improving for Bentley Hockey. Recruiting has also taken a giant leap forward. We'll meet a freshman who could have an NHL future. The on-campus arena not only has injected new life into the Bentley community, it's already become a huge recruiting tool. In front, shot, score! Novak! Come on, Novi, use that frame. Get low, Novi, get low. Freshman Yakov Novak, an NHL prospect, first met Coach Soderquist and assistant coach Ben Murphy while attending New Hampton Prep School. And they were probably the biggest factor about me coming here. They've been loyal to me for the last three years, and it being one of the top business schools really led me to come here. And also, I had this brand new rank here, so you know, I can't turn that down. After two seasons in the North American Hockey League, Novak was selected in the seventh round of the 2018 NHL Draft by the Ottawa Senators. Obviously, it's a dream come true. I got a call from their head scout, and my phone was blowing up. It was vibrating like crazy, getting phone calls from all my buddies, my family, and all that. He's 6'3", but he skates like he's 5'8", and he can uh, play in all three zones, and he's a pretty special player. How to shoot, no back, how to shoot, stay with it. I think of myself as a power forward. I like to be physical, I like to shoot the puck. Something I feel like is kind of underrated about me is I have a good hockey IQ. He's a different type of player than we've had in the past. Obviously, he's a big, strong kid that can protect the puck well. He, uh, he can open up space for other guys around him. And I think that will be his, his best ability is, is to actually make players around him better. I think one of the biggest things Coach Soderquich preaches is, you know, you know, defense turns into offense. And it's one of the biggest things I kind of had to learn was got to be really strong on the D side of the puck. I mean, in juniors, I would really just take the puck and, you know, go with it and fly right. Where, you know, college hockey, you really got to be in a defensive state at all times, have always a good D zone presence. And then from that, it'll translate into an offense and call it the fun zone. Tapped by Novak, and they score! Novak! Uh, we don't want it to ever change the type of student that we recruit. They have to want to take advantage of their studies and then secondary, do a great job as a Division I athlete. Got to do all the maintenance part right. The stuff that takes you to another level. All the maintenance, being ready to go. The ability to get a drafted player into Bentley, our first drafted player, obviously speaks volumes of where we can head with our recruiting.
Uh, development camp really taught me a couple things. You know, the biggest thing I thought was you know, taking care of your body and the amount of stretching and the amount of you know, working out after games, like what you eat, what you put into your body. They also, one of the other big things that I notice is, you know, you never stop on the ice. People are going 100%. So those two things, that's what I've tried to be implementing into my practice, my games here at Bentley. I think he's got an extremely high ceiling. The sky's the limit for him right now, and I think uh, we'll see more players like that coming to Bentley for sure. Stay with us for more New England Hockey Journal after the break. Bentley's a phenomenal institution. The people here on campus are absolutely amazing. If you spend a day on campus just walking around, everyone's gonna greet you, they're gonna say hello to you, they're gonna make you feel welcome. I believe in the place, I believe in the school, the education it has to offer. I have seen what this education has done for my friends. Located just outside of Boston, Bentley University is one of the top business schools in the area, which can create a lot of pressure for students balancing academics and athletics. The physical campus has grown quite a bit. The level of education that Bentley has to offer has continued to grow every single year. And the commitment level of the student athlete that we're, we're getting now is, is quite amazing. Get with our lines, we go three on three. Whole time on offense, whole time on D. Offensively, make sure we're spreading out using our offense. There's a lot more pressure than people understand here. Um, it's a pretty tough institution to, uh, to be a student at, and unfortunately our day is pretty full with hockey, so when you're away from the rink, you better take school seriously. That's it, Jiggs! That's it, Jiggs! Close! Bentley's culture, from day one, guys want to do well uh, in the classroom, on the ice. It's just kind of something that you pick up when you come here. They're coming, their F1s coming all the way down. Our guys have done a great job in the classroom. Our team hovers right about a 3.4 grade point average, which is quite amazing for a Division I athlete with, with all that they have on their plate to still maintain those type of grades. But it is part of our culture. Our guys want to make sure that they do a good job in the classroom, get their internships in, and, and they know that they're going to fall back on this education for the rest of their lives. This university is at the forefront of business education. We are combining traditional business studies with arts and sciences, and our students are walking out of here with a much more well-rounded education, and they're able to find really interesting jobs. Every single thing they've done here, they've done right, first class. I'm not just talking about the arena, I'm talking about everything you see on this campus. For me, it's, it's intriguing. I just sit back and watch, and it keeps getting better and better. And the future is bright for Bentley Hockey. This year is definitely the deepest team we've ever had here. I think in the past we've maybe had a little bit of trouble with one or two lines scoring only. Um, this year we got depth down the whole chart. We got a very talented group here, a very hardworking group, and we're eager for success, so I think it'll be a good time to come watch. Don't stand in the D zone, boys. Let's go get on our toes here. Be aggressive. We'll guarantee that the Falcons will, will give everything that they have for this institution and, and play the hardest that they can for, for the university. And at the end of the day, I'm very confident that this team has the ability to win the championship. We'll see you next time on New England Hockey Journal. Just swarming one side of the ice. Got to use the net cycle, chip in, go get it, work it out the weak side. We practiced that this week, right, boys? Riggs, Cal, I think we got one this ship. on finding, finding pucks in traffic. You know where the net is. It's not a moving target. It's always right there. The net never moves. It's always right there. It's been like that since you've been a kid. <laughs>